Hi friends, welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. This is Sojo Voltage Shadam Pawan. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you all can enable your Google Wallet application to use contactless payments in your rooted device. As you can see on the screen, my device is already rooted with Magis Manager and I have enabled Google Wallet applications in this phone. So when it comes to here, you can see it says this card can't be set up for contactless payments with Google. Which means when it comes to my country, my, most of the credit and debit cards are doesn't still support to this method. But if you are in an eligible country for this Google uh, wallet application and if you have a rooted device, this method will permanently fix all your problems. So friends, now I'm going to uh, fix this Google wallet issue on this rooted device. When it comes to here, you can see I rooted my device with Magis Manager and I'm going to run uh, this Google wallet application and leak my card once again. So friends, when it comes to here, you can see it says this device can't be set up to Google wallet application because it had the root access. Now I'm going to fix this problem. So let's just start our video and see how we can do this. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification at and join it. Okay guys, let's see how we can uh, hide Magis Manager. First of all, you need to open your Magis application and go to the setting of this application. In here, you will be able to see an option called hide Magis application. Click OK and click Add to Home Screen. Uh, you need to do this additional setup process also. Now you need to go back to your setting of the Magis Manager and uh, you need to enable Sages and enable Enforce Deny List options. Okay, friends. Now you need to click on this uh, Configure Deny List option. In here you will be able to find a three dot option in uh, this corner of your phone now you need to enable this uh, show system apps option then search for google and uh, add following applications into your deny list click on your application first of all then enable this tick Because here is the all applications that you require to add your deny list. Let's go to modules option on your phone and you need to install uh, following modules into your Magis Manager. You can download these modules also from the given links in the description of this video. Then I am going to install some of the applications uh, on my phone. You can download this application from the links in the description of this video. As the next step, you are required to reboot your device. Okay friends, now I have successfully rebooted my device. Now I am going to open uh, Magis once again. In here you need to click on the modules. So when it comes to here, you will be able to see some of the options on your Magis modules. So first of all, you need to click on the action button on your play integrated pro module. Now click on the action buttons once again in the tricky 2 module. Now grant super user permissions. Now click on this three dot button. In here, you will be able to see some of the options, and I am going to select uh, this, which select all the applications. In. Now, you need to click on this three dot options once again, and uh, select this uh, deselect unnecessary uh, option. Then click on the key box and select valid option. Again, you need to click on this three dot menu and on the set security patch option. Now click on get security patch date, click on auto, now click on save button. 
okay friends when it comes to here you need to run your simple pre integrity checker in here you need to click on may play integrity request and it should be shows that your device support in strong integrity if you are getting this success message you will be able to uh, continue with this method as the final step you all are required to wait 24 hours until you google savers are refreshing their cache then you need to find your google wallet application again like this and go to the app info of that application and you need to clear all the data of this application then you will be able to normally run your google wallet application in your rooted device